welcome to the Joy Score podcast. This is Chloe. This is Neil. This is Rich. Dr. Rich. Yeah, I mean, as I said, it's. I guess Joy Score is a form of gives you appreciation. Appreciation of yourself, mm-hmm. appreciation of other people, mm-hmm. um, helps you with your respect towards yourself mm-hmm. and to other people, and it just makes you a happier person in life. Yeah. And I hope I look for more of that in the coming year. Mm-hmm. I like that. Um, I was talking to a pastor, and he says as he got older, he has a greater capacity for joy. Mm-hmm. Not necessarily uh, the the most joy in terms of time, but he's able to um, reflect on it more and experience it more. And I thought that was really interesting. Is yet to come is truthful if you keep your sanity and you're healthy. Mm-hmm. Okay, and that's another thing that's good about joy score which discusses in other chapters about exercise about eating all Mm -hmm. this stuff Mm -hmm. and as you get older you say man i'm just i'm just glad i'm not sick i'm healthy you know right and and as also as you get older in life you've accomplished like life is mostly work all your life you know Mm -hmm. achieve this achieve that achieve Mm -hmm. that raise your kids, get them Mm -hmm. through school, do all this stuff. And then once that's done and you reach a certain age, then the real joy comes because you can do whatever you want, do all the things that you never were able to do. Clearly applicable to any age, any walk of life, any profession. It's true. You, You say you think about it when you're growing up. You know, it used to be... God, I can't wait till I'm 18. So, I mean, the laws have changed yeah. so I can stay out late. Yeah. And then you go, man, I can't wait till I can get my car. Mm-hmm. You know, and then you get to the next point. I can't wait. I can drink or mm-hmm. I can vote. And it, and it seems mm-hmm. like your your whole life is like you spend your time looking to get to the next stage. Yeah, anticipating the next The thing. next step, and you're like, I can't wait to get out, move out from mm-hmm. the house. I can't wait to go to college. Mm-hmm. Can't wait to have kids. I can't wait till they grow up. And, <laughs> you know, no, but seriously, or I want grandchildren or whatever you want to do. Yeah. That, right. That's my point enjoying is the to enjoying the moment. Because and, everyone deserves to enjoy the moment they're in. I think it... It causes more stress, sadness, anxiety, um, setbacks when your whole mindset is about the future and the past and not the present. And, yeah. and it's good to have your mind in, in both of those places, but primarily you should be living in the present. Right. But most of the time you're not, if you think about it. It's true. You know, I can't wait till I'm in high school. I can't wait till I'm in college. I can't, you know. Can't it's wait kinda, till I'm out of college. Can't yeah, it's, it, so it's kind of like you're on this treadmill, and it keeps getting faster and faster and faster. <laughs> but, but once you get older, it slows down, and you can enjoy the walk instead of the run. This reminds me a lot. It, it parallels nicely with mindfulness. You know, we can't go back in the past and change things but we can learn from it we can't go far ahead in the future but we can plan for it the they say that the best whoever they is the powers that be the researchers is to focus on problem solving in the present Mm -hmm. when life is a a series of problem solving Mm -hmm. you know yeah and you can get the most done in the present yeah (laughs) so to anybody who is starting their joy score journey The best is yet to come. Yes.